Right, in this video I'm going to do a quick review on the boot of the Ford Focus Estate or Station Wagon as it's called. Right, as we open it, I guess first get meeting with the tray to open it we press in here and it always has an automatic slide back and it reveals a space that is not as big as you would like or not as deep very small load lip there but it just doesn't feel very deep it kind of feels about knee level to me it just seems very high and not deep uh, I've got these hooks that are not all that secure they do pop out and I'm lucky when I bought this second hand it didn't um, have any of them lost and just notice that the, the actual carpet has to go right round here for this carpet to sit in there tightly because as soon as you lift it from this handle here and there's no hook to hook it and nowhere to hook it onto and I might build one myself all these pop out and I have to pop them in by hand again there is a fuse box and you will need one of these the Ford uh, filler, cap, filler funnel so it's like a rear fuse box and I've yet to discover which fuse does what handy little tray there see the compartment to keep your tools there is a tool, 12 bolt supply there some hooks one two three four and child seat securing ISO points on there and there there's no middle hatch like a ski hatch to drop the seats you have to go to the back seat and you can either, you can either just press on the button here probably leave it as it is like that or if you want it to be perfectly flat, you'll have to, which is okay, kind of. And I think I'm going to get stuck here. This is where I'm going to get stuck because as I press on here, the top of that is going to hit on there. Oh, it didn't. Okay. Now I've moved my seat quite far back. All right, so that's that bit. Now, as we put on this, Notice it pop out, so it takes a bit popping out. There's nowhere to hang it, it doesn't fold really. Right at the back there is where I keep some of my uh, wheel removing stuff, like my, my wrench, uh, extendable wrench, and a large wheel. But what size is it? It's not a full size, it's a 25 by 90 R16. So it's not a 16 wheel, but I think it's not as what as deep here, so it's a non-full size wheel, 50 mile an hour limit, and there's very little space here to put anything. I like to have a lot of space here, and I was hoping this would drop down a lot more, but the fuel tank's underneath, so that's where the space has gone into. So that's why there's a, a kind of lack of space feeling on, on this, even on this station wagon. All right, that's my basic review. Apart from that, on the, on the boot of the Ford Focus. It's pretty good, it's quite airy in here. And there's no removable lights or anything like that. All right, thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button and to re-engage this, just pull and it kind of clicks in place. Thanks for watching. Oh, I forgot. I should really do the last bit by taking out this spare wheel and really comparing it to the full size wheel of the car. And also, looking above, there's a nice reachable door handle here and here. And easy to access. Light bulb replacement parts here. Let me pull back. Just here, you can put a light bulb, uh, screwdriver in. And easy to pry open, I think. I haven't tried it yet. I've got this thing here that keeps this kind of foamy thing that keeps the, uh, the, the plate level on top of it. And this, this tray thing, I should call it, is quite stiff quite firm looking and the full wear at the back got little pockets this is where I keep my spanner since someone took the original um, wrench from the the uh, jack so to undo it just I will take this out take the whole wheel out and compare the size well, if I do that there's these bits here and they, they do come off you can lose them quite easily look Push him down, look. it comes off and you can lose him, so be careful. Make sure when you buy this car like me, second hand, it's available. When this 
when I bought this car second hand, this was all in disarray. So he had changed the wheel at some point. We have owned it, I'm sure it's a he. There's a bracket there. And this thing here, you notice a piece of wood underneath because, and it says on the handle book, do not lift the lift the wheel by the centre. Right, let's not do that. So I'm doing it right now because I'm pretty strong. No problem. All right, so looking in here, it's a bit. The uh, wrench was here, pretty dear, and um, right, gone. So that wrench was fitted there, and this goes on top. So if one screw that. So as I unscrew this, this holds the wood on my my man my handmade thing to keep the jack on. Screws it onto the uh, the base there, and then on top the uh, little kind of round thing fits on top. And that's how it fits. There's a nice little belt, something there, stop the rattling. Even though that'll be wheel side down, tire side down, it shouldn't rattle. So it's nice and stiff. Um, why? Why didn't they give us more space here? So that's a bit of a gripe. They could have just cut this out, like so, right? Make it nice and square so there's a lot, a lot more space here. Since you've got this clamp in the middle, it's not gonna roll around, is it? You could have, they could have, you know, had something protruding here, just to give it a way about it moving around. Anyway, let's do what I said I was gonna do. So it's much narrower than the real wheel. Oh no, okay. It's a full size wheel, but just narrow, much narrower. All right, so the full size wheel is a, what does it say? 16 inch, I know 16 inch. Where's all the numbers gone? Tire is not the best one you can pull it, I guess. Try front. There you go. Full size wheels 20, 205, 54, oh, 16. 16 is the diameter. One, one of the measurements is the width of it. One of them is that bit there. I can't remember which is it. And the R is speed rating of it. I do remember that. All right. Alright, so this is a Michelin tyre. Alright, thanks for watching. Please hit that like, subscribe now. Oh, just one last thing. So this is a titanium model, Ford Focus. Right at the rear there, there is a... One of these dog barrier holes where you can put the dog barrier. Alright. I wonder if this is really the last.